you know, you can say it was causality that influenced me to make another Berserk video for you guys. Yo, what is up guys? Chance is back here. I'm back with another unboxing for you. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, but if you already are, welcome back. Now, I'm pretty excited about this unboxing today, you know. This is going to be my first unboxing about Berserk, my first Prime 1 Studios unboxing, my first one third scale unboxing. So we're breaking a lot of records with this unboxing right here. And this piece right here was very anticipating of me. This might be the best piece I unboxed all year. We had to go with Berserk, the main character, the badass. We're gonna be unboxing the Black Swordsman, AKA Guts. I'm so excited, yo. This is gonna be my first time unboxing Prime 1 Studio. So I'm kind of nervous. I don't know what to expect, but we're about to see what's in both of these boxes right here, guys. We got two boxes. I'm assuming one of them's the base and the other one is Guts, but we're about to unbox this guy all because of causality. So Prime 1, I guess they advertise other pieces in the Berserk line to you, so I guess that's what these are for. And I don't know what other Berserk pieces I'm going to get, but, you know, they all look beautiful. This Skull Knight one is massive. So that's what they give you. They also give you assembly instructions on guts. Now, I don't know if I said this in the beginning, but we're unboxing the Masterline Museum Deluxe version of guts. So we're gonna have swappable heads. We're gonna have light up features. So in the first box right here, you know, I guess this box was just dedicated to the base. And before I even unwrap this thing, I have to say this video is not made for kids. If you're a kid, you shouldn't be watching this video right now. So this piece right here is just dedicated to the base and wow. If you guys read or watch Berserk, you, you, you know what time it is. So wow, that's the base right there. And there is the man himself. So we have Guts right there. And this is a one third scale, so this piece is huge. And yo, this is probably one of the most premium experiences I felt. And I haven't even put the statue together yet. Look how this feels. So we have four swappable heads so this is gonna be so dope and usually with swappable parts you know I keep them in the box but they also give you the stand for the head so this is gonna be dope you know you got the main body of guts right there and with here we have his arms so we got swappable heads we got two arms two swords Yo, this is gonna be so dope we also have puck right here this is the elf that always stays by guts the side so Puck looks dope, and I'm guessing this long piece right here is pretty much his cape, so let's get this guy together. I'm, I'm loving what I see so far. Yo, when I tell you guys this is one of the heaviest bases I ever lifted in my life, I'm not playing you guys. This base right here is extremely heavy, but at the same time, damn, yo, it's extremely beautiful. So with the LED features, you can take off this symbol called the Brain of Sacrifice. You can take this part out, and there's a battery compartment. So this symbol here can flicker on and off. We're going to check that out later. And also the top here lights up also. And man, looking at that every time is gruesome, yo. All right, let's get this guy put together. Man, I can't get over how tall a one-third scale is right here. This is pretty much Guts' main body right here. And on his left leg, there's a peg right here. So we're about to get his leg in right now. All right, guys, we pretty much have the rest of the Berserk pieces on the table right here. And with the deluxe version, you know, you're going to have options to display him for days, you know. You get pretty much two versions of his sword called Dragon Slayer. And look at the weathering on this man's cape, yo. That's just beautiful. With these pieces, you pretty much just attach them to the base like that. Pretty straightforward. And look at those heads, yo. You get four different display options. The one that we're going to go with is this one as the first one. But we're going to test out all these different head options. So I've talked enough, guys. We're going to get Guts fully put together now. And I'm excited. You can barely fit this guy in the camera. And with him being a third scale, you gotta be careful about how you display him because he can't fit in most cases because of his height. And with his weight, I recommend you take him apart before you lift him up because this piece is heavy. But you guys are about to see the true definition of what a museum pose is.
All right, guys, we finally got Guts put together now. Now, if you guys never seen Berserk before, you can't tell me this character doesn't look badass right here. You know, he has a big sword, he has some cool armor, he uses one eye, and Prime One Studio, you guys did justice when you made this piece right here. This is the best Berserk piece i ever seen so far, and this being a one-third scale, you know, with statues, I usually can just, you know, look at it straight ahead, but... This is the first piece where I have to kind of look up and down just to process everything that I'm looking at. So with this statue right here, you pretty much had the option to get two versions of it. You could have got the standard edition or the deluxe. The standard version is pretty much where he's holding his hand out with his sword out in the front, like what he's doing right here. And this version here, it goes up to 38 inches in height. But if you got the deluxe version, you also get the arm switch out where he has his arm behind his back. And that's pretty much it goes up to 40 inches. So this is a really tall piece right here. And for Prime One Studio, for this being my first unboxing from you guys, and my first Berserk unboxing, yo, this is like the perfect first impression, you know. I So far, I don't see any flaws. The only thing that gave me a difficult time was when I was putting the piece together, it was a smooth process. But, you know, putting the cape on Guts was pretty challenging. You know, I it took me probably over like two hours to get his cape on right and I don't even know if the cape is on right so that was pretty much like the only small setback like pretty much putting on the cape but everything else is just perfect yo and if you guys never heard of Guts before from Berserk you know I'm not gonna get into any spoilers but he's a pretty interesting main character you know he pretty much has a lot of internal battles with himself you know is he trying to do this one option of getting revenge or is he trying to do this other option that he's not used to you know He's a really interesting character and he's been through a lot of war, you know. Since he was a young kid, all he's been about was battle, you know. He's always used this oversized sword and that's why he has this big sword right here, you know. No one else was able to use this sword and it's called Dragon Slayer, but you know, this man uses it like it's nothing. So Guts is a pretty awesome character. If you guys haven't watched the anime or read the manga, I highly recommend Berserk. But yeah, we're about to get into some in-depth details about this statue. When it comes to the base of the statue, I just love it, you know. It pretty much has the feel of the Berserker armor that he gets later on throughout the manga. And, you know, the brand of sacrifice right here. This symbol right here means a lot in the Berserk manga. So, I really love the base. And pretty much, look at the details here. You can even see the scratch marks on the base. So, Prime 1 Studio, you guys did a lot of attention when it came to the base. And... If we look up a little bit you know a pool of blood right there it's literally like a a body soup you know the blood looks like the blood doesn't look fake at all so we're about to light it up eventually but you know look at the skull right there look at the veins yo that wow <laughs> with guts is dragon slayer you know if you got it in the position where it's facing up front there's a little hole that you can stick it in through right there but Pretty much if you do the other version where his sword is behind his back, you can fill up that empty space with this arm right here. So that was a pretty nice touch of Prime One Studio right there. And if we take a look at Guts' Dragon Slayer sword, this is the big oversized weapon that he uses. You can see all the blood on the blade and all the scratch marks. So when you see this piece, you can tell that he's used this sword and the Guts went to like Guts went to town with this sword. So the Dragon Slayer sword looks amazing. You know, you see Guts' armor right there. This is called the Black Swordsman armor. And this has a sort of leathery sort of look to it, you know. That looks really good. You see more of the armor right there. And let's look at his left arm, you know. The left arm looks really good, you know. Guts has a mechanical arm, so that looks dope. You can see the little the bandages right there so the armor looks amazing you know the pouches for his daggers it has a really good leathery sort of look to it you know like I said I don't know if I got the cape on perfectly but you know I did the best that I could and speaking of his arms look at the quality that they did you know you can see pretty much the veins you can see the blood This is a man that's been through a lot of battles. You can see the blood on his arm wraps right there, on the top of his blade, the shoulder armor right there. There's nothing bad I can say about this piece right here. You know, it seems like they got everything right on it, even with the scratch on his nose. 
There's Puck right there. Yo, this Guts looks amazing. And pretty much if we look at the other heads right here, I don't know, like, I do love that they're on headstands, so I'm pretty much going to display him next to the statue, you know. But the, my favorite one has to be that Berserker face right there. That, that looks crazy. And also with these head sculpts, Prime 1 didn't miss a detail for these things. You know, I love how they got the brand of sacrifice on the side of his neck, just like how the manga portrays it. You know, his hair looks good, and even the teeth on the head sculpts look amazing. Check out the anatomy in Guts' eyes, you know, the details on his eyebrows. And look at the wrinkles on his face. They got everything right. You know, they give you another Dragon Slayer sword if you're doing the other display option. And this one doesn't have any blood on it, but, you know, you can still see the scratches. Guts did some damage with this sword right here. Pretty much they also give you a back piece for... The other switch out for Dragon Slayer and with this version of Puck, you know, this is pretty much like, I guess, the comedical version of him, you know. I don't really think I'm going to display this one. I'm pretty much fine with the one that's up there, but, you know, we're pretty much four different heads and two different, like, arms and swords and two different versions of Pucks. You have about, I would say, like 16 different ways to display this guy, which is... Insane, yo. Prime One Studio gave you so much options when it came to displaying this statue. And, you know, I'm really curious about that LED feature, so let's check it out. So the LED function in this piece is pretty much straightforward. You know, you can pretty much take this piece off right here, and if you pull this part back, you can put in four C-type batteries, I believe. Yep, they're Type-C batteries. So once you do that, it's pretty straightforward. There's an on and off switch right here, so let's see how this looks. I'm gonna show you guys in the, in the nighttime also. So, what's interesting is that it seems like the brand of Sacrifice, it lights up, but it has a flickering sort of effect to it, so that's pretty dope. But let's check out this pool of blood. Oh my goodness. Let me show you guys in the dark time. All right, guys, it's completely pitch black now. You can see the brand of sacrifice right there, you know. That's really good LED lighting right there. Let's see if I can back up for a bit. It lights up at the bottom, you know. It's still pretty hard to see Guts' face, but... You know, that's some really good lighting right there. I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing of Guts from Prime One Studio. And I think this might be the best unboxing I did all year. You know, this is the perfect Christmas present for myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. If you guys love the channel, you know, you can check out the merch or I have a Patreon also. But... Thank you guys for all the support and peace.